This week in my Evernote video, we are dragging and dropping. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how to do the dragging and dropping not just on your desktop but for those of you using an iPad how you can do it with an iPad. Now this is one of those little features that is obvious when you think about it but so many people forget about it because generally we think of Evernote as being just a note taking app but it can do so much more. And dragging and dropping particularly is very useful when you're collecting stuff to brainstorm and develop your plans, projects or goals. So I want to show you that in this week's episode. Now before we get into Evernote, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips and tricks on Evernote, then please hit that subscribe button too so that you get all the news as and when it gets released. Okay, let's go into Evernote now and I will show you all about the dragging and dropping and a little bit of a surprise for some of you might just be in here. Okay, let's go into Evernote now. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's imagine that I have a note that I want to create that includes all my favorite music podcasts that I listen to every single week. And I want to remember what I have. So what I've done, <coughs> excuse me, what I've done is I've created a screenshot of one of my favorite music podcasts. This is so energetic. And these are the saved episodes that I have right here. And so I've got Jason Ross, Mayon, No Mama, Ilan Bluestone, Oliver Smith, Andrew Bayer, Amy Wiles. So I have these uh, that I want to keep a record of. It could be any picture. I've just taken a random screenshot. And before I was doing this episode, I was just listening to my own. So I thought, OK, I'm going to use this. So I've got this now saved on my desktop. And all I have to do is just drag this over and add this to my note, which is going to come in like this. Now, the beauty of Evernote is it will resize automatically but what you can do is if you tap on the image like this you'll see that you've got this little grab handle down here and I can just drag that back up there and I can make that really small and add that to whatever I want to do and you can do this with anything it's just drag and drop and for those of you I, I'm using a, a MacBook here so I'm using the full screen version but if I use this the drop down and you can do this by the way with Windows as well you can just drag that in and I can just drag it in like that and boom that has come in so it's very easy to do I also have a music file here and I can just drag that in and the music file is also there so you can drag pretty much anything into an Evernote note now Fortunately, this particular music file is only 3.2 megabytes, so it's not going to harm my uh, upload rate at all. But I don't really keep music in my Evernote, but it's there if I needed it. And by the way, I should just point that out. I'm dragging that in and you can see that um, I can hit the play button right there and it will start playing, as you can hear. And I've got the player up here and I can listen to it. Beautiful song. Uh, Avicii's Heaven but the David Guetta remix beautiful song anyway so, <laughs> so you can actually play from within the Evernote player so music files and yes delete that one there we go so you can do whatever you want within this but now on an iPad we have a number of other options so what I can do is on my iPad I can open up the files app that's not going to work. Hang on a second. Just open up my files app and I can just drag that over to the side here. I've got my great music podcast. What I'm going to do is just going to open up that in full view. And I can now, for example, I can add uh, this particular <coughs> file from here. So I can just drag the same file. Uh, I need to download it first. So just download that file. Download the file to my iPad, which is done. And I can just drag it. And that's not going to hang on. Done. Uh, I'm just going to drag this, open it up, and just drag it into my note. And I can drag the file comes into my note. Again, we can open it up like that, and it's done, and it's in there. 
and that is how you can attach files directly using drag and drop in Evernote. You can also use the icon down here and I can also do the same thing. I can do it from there. But this is basically how you can drag and drop. So you've got using an iPad or you're using a computer, you can actually get all these things added into your Evernote note really quite simply just using the drag and drop features that are available. Now, of course, not everyone is using an iPad, but for those of you using a Windows computer or a Mac computer, you can drag and drop all sorts of files and drop them directly into your Evernote note. And that's going to save you a lot of time and can really help you, particularly when you're doing a lot of research. I do quite a lot of my research using my iPad, and I find that just dragging and dropping using the iPad is fantastic. Now, of course, I'm recording this in August 2019. We haven't quite got the iPad OS yet, but that's going to be coming in the next month or two. And when that comes out, it's going to be even easier to keep adding files. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because a lot of people do just tend to think that Evernote is for uh, clipping new uh, web articles or collecting notes. And sure, it does that very well, but you can also drag images, screenshots, audio files, any kind of file basically can be dragged and dropped into your Evernote. And that's a really cool feature that a lot of people tend to forget about when they're using Evernote because they see it as a simple note taking app, but it does have a lot of power under the hood. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.